WrestleMania 39 is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, April 1st and April 2nd. And I, for one, am so freaking excited for this. It is going to be epic, and I cannot wait. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you my predictions on who I think is going to walk out of WrestleMania, the grandest stage of them all, the winner. Let's start things off with the match that we know will be kicking off WrestleMania this year. John Cena versus the United States champion Austin Theory. And this is Theory's biggest match ever in his career. Facing John Cena to kick off things on the grandest stage of them all. You know, Austin Theory is the future of WWE whether you want to admit it or not he is the future of this business and John Cena is going to give him one hell of a match John Cena we saw what he did with that promo a couple weeks ago on Monday Night Raw absolutely destroyed Austin Theory on the mic it was insane but Austin Theory this past Monday if you watched Raw uh, came out and did a promo in an empty arena and honestly it was a really great promo so I cannot wait for this match I honestly, I'm going to have to go with Austin Theory on this one. I'd love John Cena to win, but we don't know how long John Cena is going to be around after WrestleMania. Could just be a one-time thing, and that's why I think Theory will get the win here. I want to talk about the women's tag team showcase, and honestly, I think these tag team showcases is a great idea. Like, Triple H nailed it out of the park with that. Because, first off, it gets more people on the card Fatal four-way tag team matches usually are really fun. And I just think it's a really great idea, and I cannot wait for uh, both the tag team showcases. This one, not so much as the men's, because I am not a huge Ronda Rousey fan. I don't think she's good in the ring, and I don't think she's good on the mic. I mean, Shayna Baszler is great. She is great at everything. But Ronda Rousey, I just don't like her. She's just so annoying, I think. And you're probably going to give me hate for that. But I just can't stand Ronda Rousey. And that's why the worst part is I think Ronda and Shayna are probably going to win this match. Even though I think it definitely should be either Liv, Raquel, or any of the other tag teams. I want to go with Liv and Raquel, even though I have a bad feeling in my gut it's going to be Ronda and Shayna. Now, this matchup right here is going to be very interesting because, honestly, Brock Lesnar has not fought anybody as gigantic as Omos. I mean, I have seen Omos wrestle live, and he is gigantic. The TV doesn't even do him justice. He is gigantic. And compared to Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar just looks like a mere mortal man. Like, Brock Lesnar does not look like the beast. I think he's the underdog in this matchup, we're being honest, because Omos is just that huge. Brock Lesnar hasn't been able to suplex him yet. We haven't seen him F5 him, so I know the pop for that whenever that happens is going to be insane because I think Brock Lesnar I think Brock Lesnar needs to win this match. I don't think Brock Lesnar should lose to Omos. I mean Omos I don't really know what much you can do with Omos after you after Brock Lesnar, but I think Brock Lesnar should get the win over Omos at WrestleMania. I am very much looking forward to this match. Rey Mysterio taking on his son. Dominic, it has been a long time coming. You know, Dominic turned on Ray and Edge at Clash at the Castle this past September, and we are finally getting the conclusion to this story of him and Ray at WrestleMania. You know, Ray Mysterio came out. Dom kept saying he wanted to fight Ray at, at Mania. Ray's like, no, I will not fight my own son. But you know what it took for Ray to finally fight his son? Dominic yelled in his mother's face to shut up, and Ray, Ray did not like that at all. And he went over there, knocked him straight down. The crowd went freaking wild. I have been waiting for Ray to finally, finally fight his son, and he finally did it. And honestly, Dom has been killing this story. Like, he has been killing it in Judgment Day, I think. He is so good. Uh, people might not admit that he's good, but he is good in the ring, and he does have a bright future in this company. And honestly, I just don't think Ray needs to... I think Dom can survive losing this uh, match. I don't think Ray can. Ray's getting inducted into the Hall of Fame after everything that's happened. He needs to finally end this with his son, Dominic. They need to end their beef at WrestleMania. And honestly, Ray needs to get the win. And that's, that's my pick right there. I think Ray Mysterio is going to get the win at WrestleMania. The build-up for this matchup definitely has not been good whatsoever. I mean, 
I mean, it was good at first, and then, you know, Asuka kept spitting out that uh, goo stuff, and then they did the Can They Coexist on uh, Monday Night Raw, like, a few weeks ago. Like, it just... It just not has not been a good buildup. I have been frustrated with it because it is such a great matchup at WrestleMania. They could have made the build a little bit better, but I'm still looking forward to it. It's going to be a great match. Anytime these two would ever step into the ring together, it would be great. I mean, it, j on paper, it's going to be such a good match, and I cannot wait for it. I, th I don't know who's going to win, though. Bianca has held the title for almost a year now. Asuka hasn't held one in a while. I mean, when they brought her back at the Royal Rumble, she looked freaking awesome. And I don't know. This one's tough for me. I want Bianca to retain, but I also want Asuka to win. I'm going to go with Asuka. I'm probably wrong. I could be, but I'm hoping Asuka wins. Now, this match right here, the Men's Tag Team Showcase. Oh, my God. This is going to be so much fun at WrestleMania. If you watched Monday Night Raw, that eight-man tag, oh, my God, that was freaking awesome. It was so much fun to watch. And I cannot wait to see these guys do it again in this fatal four-way. We got Braun and Ricochet taking on the Street Profits, Viking Raiders, and Alpha Academy. If you didn't watch Monday Night Raw, you need to. That eight-man tag was amazing, and I cannot wait for for this and honestly I don't really care who wins this match I'd be happy with any team but honestly I, I'm either gonna go with Alpha Academy or the Viking Raiders those are my two top picks for this matchup I don't know why I mean yeah Street Profits Braun and Ricochet are great but I don't know I feel like Viking Raiders and Alpha Academy need a win they need a big win and I think I'm gonna go I I'm gonna go with Viking Raiders but my second pick, if that doesn't happen, I'm going to give you two predictions for this one, is Alpha Academy. Either way, this matchup is going to be so fun, and I cannot wait for this fatal four-way. And here is another match that I'm really looking forward to. Trish Stratus coming out of retirement to team with the women's tag team champions, Becky Lynch and Lita. Yeah, I said that. They won the tag team titles from EO in Dakota, and I was so excited when that happened. And then on the other side, we have Bailey, EO Sky, the genius of the sky, a tremendous wrestler, and also another tremendous wrestler in Dakota Kai, who deserve to shine on the greatest stage of them all. And they're going to do that with Bailey, who has definitely shined on the greatest stage of them all before. Same with Becky, same with Lita, same with Trish. They have all shined on this stage. So it, I am so freaking excited for EO and Dakota for this being their first WrestleMania. I think it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be a great match, but I think since this is going to most likely be the end of the Becky and damage control story, I'm going to have to go with Beck, Trish, and Lita because I think they are going to win. I mean, I could be wrong. Damage Control could win, but I'm going to go with Becky, Lita, and Trish. This matchup right here, a lot of people were not excited about it when the rumors came out that this was going to be the go for WrestleMania, but honestly, I don't care. Since Logan Paul has been here, he has absolutely killed it in his matches. This is like, what, his fourth Fifth match, not in, uh, fourth match, not including the Royal Rumble. I mean, he has absolutely killed it. I mean, he went for the uh, undisputed heavyweight championship against Roman Reigns at Crown Jewel, killed it there. Honestly, I, I really do not like Logan Paul, but I have respected what he has done in WWE since being here. And honestly, anytime Seth Rollins is in a match, his opponent's gonna look good. So this is going to be a banger of a match, I think. Honestly, I don't think Seth needs to lose this because like he said on Monday Night Raw, Logan Paul is the joke. And if Seth loses to Logan Paul, that makes him the joke. And I don't think that's going to happen. Logan Paul winning would not be the right way to go. He already has a loss to Roman Reigns. I mean, he he's not undefeated. So it, you don't need to keep him winning. And I don't think he needs this win at WrestleMania. So I'm going to go with Seth winning this one because, I mean, he's Seth freaking Rollins, the greatest wrestler in the world today. And I think he's going to come, uh, come out on top at WrestleMania. This match has been a long time in the coming. Ever since Sami Zayn joined the bloodline, it, this, this match has been brewing from then from the very beginning of him joining the bloodline up to the royal rumble where he betrayed roman reigns because he could not do what they wanted 
to a man that he looked at as a brother. Yes, it took a while for Kevin and Sammy to get back on the same page. And then we had Jay not wanting to, like, not knowing what to do. Like, it was such a great story. Finally deciding to stay with the bloodline, stay with his brother. And honestly, Sammy had a lot of work to do. But the one thing that got Kevin Owens to help him, Sammy said he loved him and said that he was his brother. And honestly, it was just so great. When they hugged, oh, I was so happy. They finally hugged it out. And I cannot wait for this. But like I said, this has been a long time coming with all the Bloodline stuff. Kevin has been fighting the Bloodline for so long. And honestly, I already know who I, who I think is going to win. I think they're going to take the titles off the Usos and give it to Kevin and Sammy because what a moment that would be at WrestleMania. Kevin and Sammy finally both capturing their first tag team championships together. What a moment that would be at WrestleMania. And that's why I think Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn are going to win at WrestleMania. Also, Sammy is literally one of the most over wrestlers in wrestling today, other than Cody Rhodes. So, yeah, Kevin and Sammy are walking out as your tag team champions. We have ourselves a little WrestleMania rematch from WrestleMania 36, this time for the SmackDown Women's Champion, Leo Ripley taking on the Queen, Charlotte Flair. This is going to be a great match. Their first match at WrestleMania 36 was great, at least I thought. And honestly, I think there's only one choice for winning this. I mean, Leo Ripley won the Royal Rumble because she is literally... They're t one of their top female superstars in WWE, I think. She's literally one of the top. Her and Bianca, I think, are the top right now. And honestly, I think Rhea needs to get revenge for that loss at WrestleMania 36. So I think Rhea is going to hit the Riptide on Charlotte Flair's title reign and become your SmackDown Women's Champion, adding to her already amazing resume in WWE. And she's going to bring gold to Judgment Day. And now another match I'm really excited for. There are so many matches I'm excited for at WrestleMania. But Edge will be taking on the demon Finn Bauer inside of Hell in a Cell at WrestleMania on the grandest stage in them all. Hell in a Cell, Edge versus Finn Bauer. I mean, what more could you say other than this is going to be freaking awesome awesome there's been teases that we're going to get the brood edge and this past monday we found out for sure we were getting the demon finn bauer and i love it the last time we saw the demon things didn't really go that well he lost to roman in a weird weird type like in a weird fashion i don't think any of that's happening at all but I definitely think Damian Priest is going to get involved somehow because he doesn't have a matchup mania. And I don't know. I've been seeing rumors that Gangrel might be coming to be at Edge's side too. Who knows? If that happens, that's going to be crazy because we're most likely getting the Brood version of the Edge. I mean, Edge inside Hell in a Cell is scary enough. Add in the Brood stuff, and that's just that's just creepy. But all I know is that this is going to be an all-out war, and it's going to be so good. It's going to be the end of the Edge and Judgment Day feud. Edge can finally move on to something else before he ends up retiring, if he does retire when they go back to Toronto later this year. I, I don't know. This one's tough to predict. I would be okay with either one winning. Finn Bauer beating Edge inside Hell in a Cell would be a huge win for his career. But honestly... I think to stick the final nail in the Judgment Day, I think Edge needs to pick up the win here and beat Finn Bauer, the demon inside Hell in a Cell. But like I said, it could go either way and I would end up being happy. This match right here is going to be an absolute banger at WrestleMania. I mean, look back at September at Clash of the Castle. You had Sheamus and Gunther have an absolute amazing match it was a brutal match but it was so freaking good and in my opinion honestly a five-star match and i mean that's just my opinion it was just such a great match i mean and then you add in drew mcintyre just imagine how much better this match is going to be i mean it's going to be absolutely insane no they're all going to have a red chest by the end of this match, I guarantee it. They're going to beat the living hell out of each other, and it's for our entertainment, and I'm going to enjoy every single minute of it. It is going to be such a great match. I mean, Gunther has had a legendary Intercontinental title run. I think he's the longest reigning in the 21st century, like almost two, 300 days, I think like 290. But at WrestleMania, 
I think it's time for Sheamus to get that last title. He needs to become Grand Slam champion. I think he's going to win this matchup. I don't know who he's going to pin. I can't predict that. It could be either men, but I'd say maybe Drew. I don't know if they want Gunther to get pinned. I, I'm not sure, but I think this is the time where they should give Sheamus the Intercontinental Championship so he can finally become a Grand Slam champion because he, he deserves it. He deserves everything. I mean, he has been carrying WWE on his back for the past couple years. I mean, he is just so good, and I think Sheamus is going to get the win. And now for possibly one of the biggest WrestleMania matches in history. I mean, this crowd's going to go wild. We heard the crowd in Montreal when uh, Sammy took on Roman at the Elimination Chamber. That crowd was deafening, and I think it's going to be the same for this main event. It is going to be a great main event. I mean, what Cody Rhodes has done, left the company, went on to create another company, came back to WWE, fought Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, and in that feud... He tore his peck and fought 25 plus minutes inside of hell in a cell with a torn peck. I mean, it was brutal to watch, but it was such a great match. And I'm, I mean, Roman is getting so close to a thousand days, which is why I have been seeing a lot of people giving the reason he should retain just so he can hit a thousand days. And I don't think that's really a good reason he should retain because I honestly if he retains against Cody I don't know who could beat Roman there would be nobody believable unless if maybe you put Drew Gunther or Sheamus against them other than that I don't know who could beat Roman and he'd just hold it forever so I think Wrestlemania they need to pull the trigger on Cody Rhodes and give him the title he'd be the first Rhodes to hold a world title in the WWE Dusty never did and his brother definitely never did and honestly he's main eventing Wrestlemania for the first time Cody Rhodes deserves this moment he is so good he has been good people might not like him but Cody Rhodes I think is gonna win and he's finally gonna hold up that world championship that he so well deserves at WrestleMania.